I was recently driving and listening to Liz Gilbert's podcast called Magic Lessons when Brene Brown got on the channel. I licked my lips. This was going to be good. She said, And I felt like she was talking right to me, to all of us. Art scars. Art scars. Art scars. If you want to explore your art scars, please keep watching, but just remember that there is no pressure. This is deep and emotional work. So just take your time and be gentle with yourself. Get yourself into a quiet and comfortable place. Do what you need to feel safe. Have a cup of tea. An animal friend. Your favorite socks. Bring your journal or sketch pad if you feel comfortable. Ask yourself these questions. What did you love to do as a child? Draw? Paint? Sing? Dance? Do you have a memory of creative shaming from childhood? So now take that memory and ask yourself, what core beliefs were established in that moment about your creativity and maybe about yourself? Write or draw or paint or dance out your answers to these questions. Get it out of your head and body. Let it go. Some people use these experiences or memories to make new work, like recycled energy. I personally prefer a burning ritual or a ritual involving nature. Let it go. Lastly, write yourself a permission slip to create whatever you want. If not, I wrote one for you. I give you full permission to create from the depths of your soul. Go for it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tina with Overall Adventures. I know today was quite an intense topic and I just want you to know that I am here to support you in your creative journey. And so if you need any extra love or support, please reach out to me, I'm here. So thank you so much for watching. Let's heal those art scars and just keep making. I believe you can do this and we all can because we are intuitively creative people, all of us. Thank you. Enjoy. Peace.